Funko is cracking down on the pop customizers. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and cats. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time line. Bumble's out, toys, and chimes on mine. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you tell along, we are together. Yes. So today's Funko news was all about Instagrammer Funko Boss, and I think everybody out there in the Funko community knows exactly who she is. She does some really awesome Funko customs. In this video, we're gonna give you an unbiased approach to this particular topic. In some parts of the video, you're gonna hear things like, what the, what the f Funko? Funko? What the f and in other parts of the video, you're gonna hear, hmm, business things, business things, business things. I see. Some people think that Funko customizers should be able to do whatever the f they want with any license that they want. And some people understand that Funko is a business and this isn't something that can be done freely this way. Well, spoiler alert, Chris and I sit right in the middle. And I was totally shocked because it's often that Chris and I don't fully agree with each other, but we actually agree with each other on this very topic. So today on Instagram, Funko Boss posted that she got a cease and desist letter from Funko over her customized Funko Pops. The Funko IP is a valuable asset of Funko and Funko cannot allow it to be used in connection with the goods of other companies without its permission. We therefore demand that you immediately cease and forever desist from making unauthorized use of the Funko IP or any confusingly similar derivations thereof, including but not limited to through the manufacture, production, advertising, distribution, and or sale of the infringing products. Immediately cease and forever desist from operating the bosscollectibles.com store and www.instagram.com slash Funko Boss Instagram profile and any other websites and or social media accounts that advertise, promote, and or sell the infringing products. So what the cease and desist letter means is that Funko has to protect their intellectual property. What is intellectual? property it's your trademarks your rights your copyrights things like that things that Funko owns and as a couple of people who just got into the trademarking business with our new company mischief toys we found that you have to work really hard in protecting your trademarks if you don't protect your trademarks you could lose them and this is probably something that Funko is very very concerned about it is their legal obligation to take care of that their trademark is for the name Funko. So if they see somebody else using the name Funko and they don't try to go after them for anything, they could actually get their trademark taken away from them. Funko is a huge company and now it's publicly traded, which changes the game across the board. Not only do they have to protect their interests, but they also have to protect their stockholders' interests. They piss their stockholders off, then they're gonna pull out a Funko stock like that. Nobody needs a whole room of tough guy Heathers, I'll tell you that. In fact, a lot of Funko's gripes with leaks and now these customizers could be that their licensors are not happy about it. Marvel, DC, Disney, all these big companies might have real issues with how their properties are being treated. Leaks specifically hurt films because you find out a lot about the movie when you find out about characters that are gonna be in the movie. And the issue with customs is that they're using the Funko name and the Funko products to create a product that isn't technically anyone's but Funko's. We don't know what's in the contracts between Funko and Marvel or Funko and Disney. So it's really hard to say if it's Funko's issue or the licensor's issue or a little bit of both. But what we know is that Funko pays a lot of money to have these licenses. And in order to keep their licensors happy, they need to take action where they feel that license could be threatened. Funko spends a buttload of money to get these licenses for things and they have to send their designs and stuff for approval to these licensors. Funko is given the right to create goods with that license, but in that license agreement, I guarantee you that they are not giving these customizers permission to do whatever they want with their products. They're giving Funko the rights and Funko has to use that license and get it approved by the licensor. This is exactly why you don't see Nintendo Funko Pops being dropped by Funko. 
That's because they don't have the rights over the licenses yet. It takes a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of dedication for Funko to get all of this. Anytime you're making a customization like this and you're making monetary gain out of it and you don't have any licenses or rights, then that could spell a lot of problems. If these companies catch wind of this, they'll be after your ass. The reason why Funko is after Funko Boss right now is not only because Funko is in her name, but she also has a huge following and her business consists of making customs and selling them. And Funko could smell that from a mile away. And I bet to them, it stinks. A big argument that I've seen today is, well, why don't they go after the customizers in China who are making straight up fakes? How do we know Funko hasn't tried? Just because those companies haven't posted on their social media accounts, hey, Funko's coming after us, doesn't mean that Funko hasn't tried. So to assume things, it's very, very unfair. I'm sure that Funko knows about this and is very upset about this and is probably trying to figure out how to stop this. You know what they say about assuming? It makes a butthole out of you and me. Funko has actually encouraged people in the past to create customs. They've held custom contests at fun days. Not only that, but they actually have male and female DIY Funko Pops. So Funko is basically encouraging us, the Funko Pop collectors, to customize Funko Pops. That's exactly what they want us to do by making these DIY Funko Pops. But that does not mean they want us to make any money off these things. The key words in the cease and desist letter to Funko Boss are, Funko cannot allow it to be used in connection with the goods of other companies without its permission. The Funko IP is a valuable asset of Funko and Funko cannot allow it to be used in connection with the goods of other companies without its permission. Immediately cease and forever desist from making unauthorized use of the Funko IP. They're basically saying you don't have permission to create this and sell this and you also don't have permission to use our name which is our property in your name in order to make money. Customs using Funko Pops and the Funko name creates brand confusion, which is a big thing with trademarks. And it's also a big thing with publicly traded companies. If you own stock in a company and you see that other people are making money off of the company that you support's product and it could possibly take away from the company that you support, that could lead their shareholders to sort of back off and not want anything to do with the company because the company isn't taking legal action over people who are essentially taking away from that brand. So apparently Funko isn't taking it no mo. But the problem is this is taking the fun out of Funko. Fun Company. That's the name of the company. Fun Company. Cease and desist. Fun Company? That doesn't mix. Fun! Customizers are a huge part of the Funko community. That actually is one big fun part in my opinion. I love seeing all these customs and every once in a while, I love buying a custom Funko Pop from somebody. Well, I got some good news for you. Any custom you get in the future has to be free. That sounds f***ed up. What about all the work the person put into it? They put 10 hours of labor, that's free? Their artwork doesn't matter because Funko owns the rights. Well, this deserves another f Seriously though, custom Funko Pops are so much fun. For example, Chris and I made custom Funko Pops for our wedding. I made a pop of me and he made a pop of him and it was awesome. We put them next to our little cake and we had such a fun time making them. However, some people aren't very creative and maybe they want pops of themselves for something special. Or maybe they want their favorite character who Funko hasn't gotten the rights to or that Funko just simply hasn't made yet. They're not gonna be able to get them anymore because we're shutting down all the customizers. The customizers. That, I did, we didn't say that, by the way. Yeah, it wasn't that, us. That was Funko. No, customizers are pretty cool. We like the customizers. We really like the customizers. We also understand Funko's viewpoint because this would be similar to someone taking our logo and our name and making it into t-shirts or making their own channel or something of that nature and making money off of something that we have created. I know what you're thinking. Like Sean Connery would say, they're playing both sides. We are sort of playing both sides here because we do agree with both sides. I want to see customs continue to be made and I really do like seeing customs being sold to people, especially if they're willing to buy it. But on the business front for Funko, they have to take all of this very seriously. Otherwise, this could really affect the company and we might not be collecting Funko Pops anymore. I really don't want to collect rocks. I mean- I really like rocks. rocks.
hate rocks. So over the coming days, I guess we'll find out if Funko has sent more of these letters out there. They're sending out more letters than ever right now. Yeah, they're probably using a lot of stamps. If the letters come damaged, can they send them back for a better letter? Probably not. You don't pay for the box, you're paying for the product. We know that the Funko community is currently split right down the middle over this particular topic. Let us know what you think about this and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Kevin Tunenberg, Darth Stevie, Marky Tony, FunkoFan626, Naisha McGinnis, Moondoggy16, Boomy Pops, Eddie Hamill, Miguel Orta, and Richard Perez. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons from Patreon. You guys rock. If you'd like to learn more about becoming a patron, head over to patreon.com slash gasocast. Guys, don't forget, head over to poppinofftoys.com for all of your Funko Pop, Funko Soda, and Funko Mystery Mini needs. They've got it all. Poppinofftoys.com. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.